What's up guys, Jeffrey here, and in today's video we are going to be going over the iSteady Plus Mobile Stabilizer from Hoheen. It's the cheapest stabilizer out there on the market compared to the Osmos and the Zyunes and uh, the Movies. Before we get started, what I do need you to do is please hit that like and subscribe button uh, because I need the likes, I need the subs, so I can eat dinner tonight. All right, so check out this intro video and let's get to the unboxing and uh, get over the specs with this uh, eye study stabilizer. All right, now that we got the intro out the way, let's definitely go ahead and open this eye study mobile by Haheem up. Key fact. Be careful unboxing items, okay? Try to be careful using these knives or any type of pocket knives that you're using unboxing. Other than that, let's get this bad boy opened up. Ooh, it's good packaging. Okay. Pretty good box, pretty stable. Uh, has all the, it's a three axis handheld stabilizing gimbal for smartphones. Now the smartphone that we're gonna use today is gonna be definitely the iPhone 11 Pro Max. All right. If you're wondering how much weight that the stabilizer can hold, it has a payload of 280 grams. Uh, Another good thing that I heard about this is that it has an inception mode on there where it can actually spin around and around and around and around, which is pretty good. Now this is supposed to be the best, cheapest stabilizer out there on the market, uh, only at $89. And uh, I think uh, basically all these stabilizers are pretty much the same. They're just getting cheaper and cheaper. More companies are getting it out there, but I did hear that the quality for this one in particular is really good so let's get this thing opened up so you guys can see what's inside it and how about i bust out a magic trick in three two one Ooh, pretty good box uh, i'm gonna say that the box is pretty sturdy uh, it's a regular zipper box you know zipper and how about we bust out another magic trick <laughs> Okay, all right, just like any other stabilizer out there on the market, you always get your handheld, you know, your manual for your instructions, just in case anybody out there wanna read that. Um, you know, us tech guys out there, we kinda read things like this, just to see what it got. Comes with your, your liquid protector, any liquid gets in here. This thing is supposed to soak up all the water. Never seen that thing work, actually. Uh, all right, so let's take a bat, let's take a look at this thing and uh, and see what we got going on with this whole home stabilizer. Comes with an actual little tripod stand, you know, like any other stabilizer out there, which is pretty good. Comes with your charger, that's needed nowadays, you know. Also comes with the actual whole home device. Now this thing feels really good in the hands. Uh, rubberized right here has uh, your charging ports on the side here also has a uh, a trigger button that you can use a button that i saw on other ones that you can choose for your recording and it also has an app but uh i just turned it on and a trigger in the back now let's uh, get into some cinematic film on this thing okay All right, like I said before, comes with your charger port. That's basically unique to everyone. Uh, the legs, which is definitely needed, which just screws right on the bottom. Pretty easy. Now the legs feel sort of cheap, but it's plastic. So, I mean, what are you gonna say? 
uh, yeah, so it basically just stands up like that. And I'm gonna rip this plastic off. I hear that plastic uh, noise, really good. And uh, definitely do me a favor and hit that like and that subscribe button because that is definitely needed again for our help for this poor YouTuber channel that I need to grow this year in 220. All right, welcome back guys. Now that we got this thing out the box, I'm going to be showing you guys what it looks like with it on the actual iSteady Mobile Plus. Today we're gonna to be using the iPhone 11 Plus, okay? Max actually, it's the iPhone Max. So there's a lot of questions people have been asking, especially on Amazon uh, when I brought this was, um, when you use the wide angle, does the arm show? And I'm going to answer your question as yes. If you use the zero point, the widest, widest angle on the iPhone 11 Max or the iPhone 11 period, that arm is going to show. So you definitely don't want to use that unless you want to use that. But I don't see why you don't want to use that. Let's put this thing on here so I can show you guys if the payload actually works on here, which it does. It's just like any any stabilizer out there for your cell phone. I've already actually have it uh, balanced by making sure it's right right there and then making sure it's right and balanced here. And you put it on first. And the next thing you wanna do is hold your home power button. That is going to turn it on. And now we're locked and loaded and ready to shoot. And just like any stabilizer, like I told you, you have your power button here, which is uh, can also be used for the photo and the video. You just hold it down once for the photo, press it twice for the video. You saw the green light here blinking, that's your mode switch. That is for if you did a pan follow, that's for one push. You got the, the pan tilt follow, that's for two pushes. You have the all follow, which is three, and then you have the, um, the all follow again, which is a four. And a really good thing about this is it has, just like any other stabilizer out there, it has the, the zoom in, the zoom in, zoom in function, which every stabilizer, phone stabilizer out there is starting to have nowadays. Look on the back, it has here the switches on the back, which is every phone gimbal has. You press it twice, it locks it in. Um, you hold it down, it goes to sport mode, uh, pretty easy. This actually also comes with a, uh, with an app that you can download and the app is pretty, it connects pretty well to it. Connected to devices, make sure your Bluetooth is on. You choose the iSteady, iSteady Mobile Plus app and boom, look at that. And let's just practice with my guy right here. That's my friend. He's looking for likes and subs too, so make sure you hit the likes and subs channel please. Help me pay my rent this month. <laughs> All right, so this is what we got. So on the app, once you're connected, you can use the trigger here to go down. That's your trigger. You can always change the settings on the trigger to make it go faster or slower, to slow it down, more cinematic. You have your zoom function. You can see how it zooms in and out. Can tell you right now it's maximum in scale. You have uh, double click the back, straighten up the camera. However, there's one function that I do like right now is this. It's called inception mode. You tilt your camera here, you press the button four times one, two, three, four. And now you can tilt your camera and press left and right and it does this inception mode where it twists just like that all the way around does an inception mode now i'm not going to post like all the videos from the phone on this i just wanted to give you guys a little update there are plenty of videos out there that do have like what it looks like but it's it's pretty simple you guys have seen it before uh, we only really need to go over that i'll just turn it this way it's just like almost like the ronin it can go like here and then look at this inception mode I thought that was pretty neat. So you can get to do some cool things with your cell phone, especially if you're shooting on like the newest phones out there, like the iPhone 11 Max. You can just get some really good scenes and good video out there. So uh, that's basically my review, what I think uh, of here. 
probably in a few months I will give another review and uh, see how this thing holds up in the field and actually shooting out there but um, so far it's pretty good it works just as good as uh, or not better than the uh, Zion Smooth 4 or the Osmo uh, even though the Osmo is a lot smaller um, but the but the price point is is literally way better than all of them. It's eighty nine dollars. You can't beat that. And for what it's doing, we'll see how it holds up in a couple months. If it lasts, if it breaks, if the battery, whatever. So it's always something that's good to find out about these uh, these handheld you know phone stem stabilizers because this is now the new way of. Uh, doing vlogging I believe like you could just use your phone nowadays you don't need the real big expensive cameras you just use your cell phone and they also have a stabilizer I will put in the description for GoPros so now you can use a GoPro with a stabilizer and now the game is just changing now so uh, thanks for watching this video please be sure to hit the like and the subscribe and um, leave your comments down below if you guys used it before or if you guys any questions for me and uh, I will be happy to send my comments. Peace out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.